Hello, everybody, and welcome to the premiere of Cringe Confessional. My name is Coney, and I'm your host. About a few days ago, over the weekend, I set up a site, cringe.coney.gg, to get all of your stories, your cringiest and most embarrassing moments, and so many of you wrote in. Thank you so much for that. And uh, over the weekend, we got 615 responses. So a lot of people have a lot of dirty laundry that we'll be going over tonight. A lot of these stories were just people like, oh my god, I went in for a kiss on a date and she turned her head. Not really cringe. Um, but some of the stories tonight are the, uh, the, from the lowest depths of hell. These are all real stories, I assume. The site is 100% anonymous, uh, so we can't track anybody. Uh, I have not seen any of them, so we're, I'm hearing them for the first time. So without any ado, everyone, please welcome to the first episode of Cringe Confessional. Let's do some cringing. Around the time the movie Selma came out, we had a small discussion on it during my civics class. Okay. I was talking about how whack white people were to discriminate against other white people who supported civil rights. Oh god, I don't like this start. I think I can tell where it goes already when I see white people. Are you gonna say something uncouth? In the movie, there was some line about white, and I quoted it. White? Oh. Oh, it got filtered out. There was some line about white n-words, and I quoted it. Ooh, ah. Ah, in front of everybody, huh? In the in class. In front of like 30 other people and my teacher. Oh, no. I thought it was cool. No. It was not. <laughs> no, you shouldn't have done that. Did you think you were like empathizing with the plight of, of your fellow man? Like you thought you were an ally with that, right? I always felt weird when people had to read like To Kill a Mockingbird and the teacher would pick like the kid in the back of the class like, Hey, go ahead and read that whole paragraph. Every single word on that page. And the kid's like, I don't want to. Oh, but you did it of your own volition. Good story, though. Good way to start it out. That's pretty, that's pretty bad. That's pretty, uh, yeah, you should have known better. Sorry. I went to an Episcopal elementary school as a kid. One day before chapel, I was in the bathroom shitting. Okay. But I was kinda constipated and was taking too long. Oh, no. I heard all of my classmates in the hall leaving to go to the church. And I didn't want oh, to be left no. alone and lost. Oh, did you so stop halfway? So I pulled out the shit hanging from my ass with my hands and ran out. Oh my god, like a dog? Like a dog that ate a balloon. You had to, like, get it out with your bare hand. Oh no, you didn't even have time to wash your hands, did you? Oh no. Oh god. Has your dog never ate a balloon? Am I cringe? Don't let a dog near your balloons. <laughs> they, they, big fans of that. I heard all of my classmates in the hall leaving to go to the church, uh -huh. and I didn't want to be left alone and lost, right. only to find out that my class had not left yet, and oh, I ran no. back into my classroom with shit all over my hands. Oh my god. I was the laughing stock of the damn third grade. Third grade? You were gonna know those people your entire life! Oh my god, that's awful! Oh my god! Oh god. <laughs> You thought you heard that? Oh my god. Okay, that was the point where I have to thank everybody for writing in, for subjecting themselves to this. Good story. Thanks for writing in. Sorry about your hands. I was okay. about seven at the time and a friend of my mom's comes over and said friend brings their son. Not the mom's. We, we the weren't mom's exactly involved. cool, but we still talked and stuff. Sure, acquaintances. He asked me what my favorite color is. Now at the time I didn't really have one so I said brown out of panic. Where could this possibly go? If your favorite color is brown, is it poop? He said why. I responded with because poop is brown. Nailed it. Swish. <laughs> and poop is funny to a dumb seven-year-old. Poop is funny to every He looked at me and we continued talking about whatever we were talking about. Oh, no. The next day was Monday. And when I went to talk to my school friends, they said, Hey, poop boy. I was confused until I instantly remembered what I said to the kid. Oh, no. Everyone called me poop boy for nine. That's two poop boys in a row. You guys are so poopy. How did you guys poop so much? Oh my god. Everyone called me poop boy for nine weeks afterwards until I told my dad. She told the principal, and she had a speech about name calling. The what? entire grade knew who the principal was talking. But since the principal was really, really vigilant, oh god. the kids stopped. Oh no. 
They held a conference specifically about you and your favorite color, which was the color of poop. Oh, that's even worse. Dude, because everybody knows they're talking about you. That's so bad. Everybody's like looking like this around. Oh, that's it. Okay, so the kids stopped. No, they didn't. <laughs> they did not. You just didn't hear about it anymore. When I was young, I thought that everybody lived until they were 100. Okay. Afterwards, they died of old age. Not a. I met an old lady think. at a movie theater. How old are we talking? Did you tell this lady she was. She told me she was 97, okay, right. and I told her she was almost dead. Yeah, I could see that. Her husband laughed out loud. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's really fucked up. You weren't wrong, though. That's actually accurate. That lady lived to be 97. I'm sure she's heard worse. That's not that cringe. When I was young, I thought that everybody uh, that was in a movie that died actually died in the movie. I thought that they wanted to die, so they signed up for the movie as an actor, but let's say in Robocop at the end, where the guy gets, like, splashed by all this acid, right, and he melts. I was like, oh, damn, that guy must have hated his life. I was, like, six or seven. I shouldn't have thought that. I am blacklisted from every YMCA in upstate New York. That's a strong start. I was at the end of a 12-hour lifeguard certification that cost $250 to take. Oh, God, okay. I failed the test by not counting to 10 for the pulse check and only counted for seven seconds. That doesn't feel so bad. I did not take the news particularly well and may or may not have screamed a few obscenities. Ah, uh, okay, Nobody sure. was yeah. around, but the next day I received a call that I would not get a refund and oh. was banned from every YMCA in this particular branch. Oh, so yeah, you got caught on camera. They still laugh at you. It's not good to stay in the YMCA after all. Yeah, it was propaganda. Maybe it was different in the 70s, right? No, that one's bad. That one's really bad. Because they know you for a long time. They're still talking about you. That old couple, they're dead. Uh, there's a lot of people at the YMCA, and I bet the new bosses talk about you. They're like, hey, check out this tape. All right, uh, looks like Rod is going to write in. Let's go ahead with Rod here. I got a plush duck for my first Easter because it's my nickname. Oh, that's cute. I was big into WWE, as most kids are, sure. which means my siblings and they would fake wrestle a lot. Oh god, duckling, One what happened One day my you? brothers were at school, and they didn't have anyone to play with, so I decided the duck plush would do. What did you do? I got up on a little Fisher Price desk, and went to pile drive that poor stuffed animal. You broke your tailbone, didn't you? I got- I nearly hit the ground, but luckily I yelled pile driver, before doing it and my mom was able to make it in time to stop me. Good mom! That's banned in wrestling, by the way. That's not even a legal move with pr trained uh, adult professionals. Oh, that's it? That's the whole story? Oh, that's a cute story. Oh, I like that one. It's cringe to have loving parents. Ah, I get it. The mom was cringe for catching the kid. That's what it is. So I was in this creative writing class when I was in school, and uh -huh. there was this girl I sat next to and we got along but weren't really friends or anything like that. Oh god, did you have a crush? Anyways, one day I come into school pissed because I stepped in dog shit that morning and it's in like the oh final two weeks of the semester, so I guess she just said fuck it and was gonna ask for my, oh my god, Snapchat no. or number or whatever in the hallway after no. class, but I was still kinda mad, so I unintentionally said what? What? In a really rude way after she said hi and she just gave me the stink eye oh, and said no. Never mind, Dude. And walked away. No. Anyways. No, that's bad. It didn't even have to do with the dog poop. I thought it would I thought you would have smelled bad. She was willing to accept you despite your smell. She thought you stunk like shit. And she still liked you. You fucked up. She was the one. Like a year and a half later, my sister comes home from work and she mentions that this girl is her co-worker. No! And my sister was talking about her family, and when she mentions me, this girl says she used to like me but i was really rude to her oh, for no, no reason no way that's a real story oh god i that happened to someone oh god no oh man thank you for writing in you are so brave for telling me that story happened about 16 years ago okay. i was like seven and my brother was nine okay we were playing in the living room and liked to play make believe Ooh, we like decided that. to play vampire one person played as the vampire the other ran away from the vampire and tried hiding inside the house. Morbius? Morbius origin story. I didn't see the movie. 
I jumped on top of him and proceeded to suck out his blood from his neck. Not that bad. I don't quite remember exactly how long it was, but we continued playing our game until our parents came okay. back home. All right, sure. When we did, oh. my mom exclaimed, what happened? Mm -hmm. My brother and I were confused by what they were talking about. Did you have she a She said I left a big oh mark my on my brother's <laughs> neck. I gave my brother a hickey. Oh, no. He couldn't go to school for about a week oh, until it went away. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, okay. One of the things I need to note, guys, is that I have the reader as a woman for this, but it doesn't have... It could have been two brothers, like two two boys. Like, it, it, this could... This is bad no matter what, but that one's like... Those kids are going to get made fun of relentlessly. You gave your brother a hickey? He couldn't go to school for a week. I hope he's successful now. What if he got out of the school and that was the week that they learned, like, I don't know, arithmetic? Your brother's just dumb as shit because you kissed him? When I was in elementary school, I rarely used the bathrooms at school oh, no. since we were only allowed to be in the bathroom for four minutes and number two seconds took longer for me. What school only allows you to use the bathroom for four minutes? What are you talking about? But also, how are you taking four minute poops as a child? Wiping takes me 30 minutes. Buy a bidet or a razor. What the fuck? One day, during recess, my friends uh, and I were playing did they dodgeball. Hit the poop out of you? I heard someone shout my name, and when I turned around, a dodgeball was coming straight for my face. Oh, God. Not on the playground in front of everyone. This sounds like an episode of recess. Maybe they don't poop. I heard I instantly pooped my pants. They pooped. He pooped. I thought maybe they didn't poop. Another poop story. I someone managed to hide it by then going to the bathroom to clean myself up as best as I could. You didn't hide it. Everybody else is just being incredibly polite. To this day though, I can say that dodgeball made me shit myself. Sure, that's bad. That's really bad because all the kids on the playground knew and you didn't hide it and I know you didn't hide it. Bad story. That's pretty tough. By the way, they also added, if there's no cursing for cringe confessionals, feel free to change or remove that last sentence. That is so cute that you said that. <laughs> Worried about family-friendly content here on Cringe Confessional. God bless you. In high school, I did theater musicals. Hell but yeah. wait, there's more. <laughs> okay, just to be clear, doing theater musicals is not cringe. Expressing your creativity in an approved outlet is always based. This is not my submission. I didn't submit this. There's a song about jump rope, and all the boys had to be background dancers and jump rope throughout the entire down, song, right? all while fine. wearing matching shirts and shorts. You popped out. The shorts I was out. given were a few sizes oh too God. large, oh my but God. it was fine so as long as I tied the strings in the front together. <laughs> One night, I forgot to tie the strings together. Oh my god, this show is rated X. <laughs> so when the song started and all the guys started jumping rope, Stop I the show. felt my the show. shorts slowly go Stop lower and lower with every jump. Call it off. The show doesn't always need to go on. When the waistband fell halfway down my legs, I pressed my knees together to stop my shorts from going any lower. No way this gets worse. Don't forget. This was all <laughs> while I had to jump rope to the beat of the song. Stop jumping! About halfway through the song, I tried grabbing my shorts and okay. pulling them up, yeah. all while sticking to the choreography and singing. There are, mo there are a lot of guys singing. You could have taken this song off. What a performer to continue in the face of absolute danger. I ultimately decided to just run off stage. Pussy! You gave up on your co-stars? Oh, no. I thought you were one of the good ones. I thought you were a based musical theater enjoyer and performer. No, you're scared. You literally left Hazmat to cast alone to shit. That's different. I almost shit my pants on a broadcast. That's extremely different. Oh my god, you're just like the submissions. They're all poop because of you. Yeah, these are all my story. I'm every poop kid. Don't call me, please don't call me poop boy. Please don't do that. I don't like that. Because people are going to come in and not know what that is. People are going to think that I shit my pants on stream once. Let's hear from, uh... Ooh, hold on. This one's from Peter in the UK. Peter! Someone was blasting each other in Ohana from Bleach. And I'm like, ooh, I love that song. 
and I went over there. Okay, the cringiest thing about this story is that you said the name of the song. That's the worst thing you did here. You could have just said a song from Bleach, but you really wanted to like relate to me or to chat. And this is like a cry. This is like an outreach. It's like, you guys know that song, right? That's really fun. It's not fun. It's not cool. This is a cry for help. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not validating this one. All right, what happened next? And I went over there. Loudly and badly sang along for a sec, not getting a single word right oh, because I didn't man. know Japanese and people were staring at me before I realized what I was doing. Oh, no, you knew what you were doing. You just wanted the attention. But you know what? You know what, though? I'm gonna say it. Not cringe. Well, cringe. Cringe. Uh, cringe in, in, in the relative sense. In the grand scheme of things, this is cringe. But at an anime con, this is not a terribly bad thing. I've been to Smash tournaments where they start singing uh, Live and Learn from Sonic and they're all having a great time and I want to blow my fucking brains out. Uh, and I don't think, I think of the people at that anime con, maybe 10% know Japanese. They probably thought you you knew the song. They were probably staring at you like, wow, that guy's really cool. He knows Ichirin no Hana from Bleach. That's my favorite Bleach song. One time while I was about 15 years old, I was walking along the boardwalk in Wildwood, NJ with my cousin. Okay. There was an ice cream shop that gave out free samples. Okay, like where this I went is going. up to get my free sample first. Okay. The employee scooped up the ice cream and reached out to hand me the wooden spoon that had the ice cream in it. Did you take it from them like a deer? Did you Were you like a farm animal at a petting zoo? Were you like a goat? I you ate you ate it from their hand, didn't you? It was like a sugar cube. For whatever godforsaken reason, <laughs> instead of reaching out to grab the spoon, mm. I bent over to eat the ice cream while the employee was still <laughs> holding it instead of just grabbing the spoon and eating it myself. You're raised by wolves. I bet the worker was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> this is that special kind of cringe where it is more embarrassing because the person knows you're embarrassed by it. I, dude, if I was them, I would feel cringy because I didn't acknowledge it. The fact that they, they know that you were embarrassed makes it worse. This is pretty bad, but it's very funny. Thank you for writing in with this one. During the summer years back, I used to sneak out pretty frequently to see this girl. Oh, young love. I was into her, but I was pretty awkward at expressing it. That's fine. One night we were watching a movie. Mm -hmm. I was pretty tired, but I didn't say anything until afterwards. Okay. Something like, wow, I almost fell asleep. And then she was like, wow, me too. Okay. We could have slept together. And I was like, ha ha, yeah. And then went home. <laughs> okay. It did not occur to me until I went home uh, that I was missed like yeah. the biggest hint ever. Yeah. Yeah, you you blew it. Fumbled, fumbled. Hey, hey, chat, raise your hand. Ra we've all been there. That's all of us, right? That's literally everybody in here. We've all been there. Also, to be fair, maybe she didn't mean that. Right? Like, maybe you would've went in for a kiss and she would've, like, pulled away. Maybe you were right. Maybe you should never talk to or kiss another woman for the rest of your life. Maybe you're hideous. Oh my god, I didn't even think of that about that. Maybe you're ungodly ugly and shouldn't go outside. Thanks for writing in. I was handing out candy to kids during Halloween, and instead of giving kids <laughs> candy, apples? I would hold out the bowl and tell them to help themselves. Oh, dude, I do this now. Because I don't want to hand out the candy. I, I, I do this because I want to be the cool guy. Because, like, what if I drop, like, a Smarties in their bag? And they're like, this shit sucks. I'm like, you're right. Here's a Kit Kat. Right? I want them to pick. Towards the end of the night, a girl wearing a witch costume knocks on the door. Okay. I tell her to help herself, but she kind of looks at me blankly. Oh, shit. I see does. her holding her trick or treat bag in one hand, so I'm a bit confused. She does a little wiggle, and I notice that her left sleeve is just blowing in the oh, wind. Oh, no. The sleeve is empty, and this girl only has one oh, arm. Oh, no. Her mom is standing behind her and she looks horrified. Mm. I practically dumped the whole bowl into her bag and wish them a good night. Oh, that poor girl. I haven't girl. given out candy since and it has been four years. Oh, that's so sad. She had a witch accident. Oh, no. <laughs> she burned her arm in the cauldron. Oh, that poor girl. Oh, cast the wrong spell. That's so sad. <laughs> the girl's not gonna see this. The one-armed witch isn't gonna see this. No, I just, I don't think, this is a little uncomfortable, right? It's a little uncomfortable, but it's fine, right? It's not a big deal. 
You gave her all the candy. I'm sure she was very happy. In 8th grade, I finished up my health class and was walking down some stairs going to my third class of the day. Okay. When I reached the bottom, the most popular girl in the school walked up to me and tried hugging me super randomly. Cool. I had never spoken to her and I was the opposite of popular. Oh, and no. because I was a very oh, awkward no, no, kid no, 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 and no. didn't think to just hug her back and go on with the rest of my day or just tell her no. I walked away very quickly while she was trying to wrap her arms around me and did not say a word to her. Hey! Buddy! You avoided a trap. You were about to get carried. Like the movie Carrie. Like Stephen King. You actually, you did the right thing. You did the right thing. If she'd never talked to you before and she tried to give you a hug, you dodged a bullet there. You're not cringe. You're a king. Chad's calling you a Sigma. I want you to know that. That was like a mimic. You know what I mean? Like the popular girl trying to give you a hug. It's like, oh, a hug from a girl. But wait. You know what I mean? Like something, uh, uh, something very bad was going to happen. I could hear her friends laughing towards us since I think it was some kind of dare for her to go up to me and hug me. There we go. Yeah, you killed it. No, that's not even awkward. They're fucked up. I hope you're rich. I hope you're Elon Musk. I hope you're watching this right now. Hey, congrats on the Twitter buyout, King. Very proud of you. Listen, I, I was in high school too. I, uh, I thought every time a girl showed interest in me, it was a trap. Swear to God. I've told this story on stream before. It was a Friday night. I got home from school and I got a call from a friend of a friend. Hey, Coney, are you doing anything tonight? Because Angela is here and, you know, we're all with her and she said she'd really want to see you. And I was like, hmm, Angela's out with her friends. There are four women there and only one of me. No thanks, harlot. And I hung up the phone. I don't know what I thought was going to happen. How did you get married? <laughs> Mallory was obscenely obvious. The way that we met, was she, she, I had never heard of her before or seen her before. And she yelled at me from like 300 feet away. She yelled my name and said I was cute. And I was like. And then we went to go get ice cream. I used to play through games and commentate through them like in a let's play. Oh, no. Except I didn't have the proper equipment for it. Oh, God. So I was just talking to myself while I played Paper Mario while pretending I was talking to an audience. Oh, God. Oh, that's it. That's the end of the story. You are the youth of today. I don't think this is that bad. A lot of kids are doing this now. Um, this is Atrioc. <laughs> you think so? Hold on. Let me see. Is Atrioc on, on Discord? Let me see if I can call him in. Big A, how's it going? Oh, Big C, what's up? You what's call? good? Yeah, I'm streaming currently. No, I just wanted to confirm something because oh, I yeah. tuned in for earlier and it seemed like you were confessing to have pooped yourself no i, I didn't do that i didn't do that no 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 i didn't do that i didn't poop myself no, that wasn't no, no, no. you okay that wasn't me that wasn't everyone me. everyone was saying poop boy and it no was like, it was no yeah that's because... no that's really funny that they did that but it was about somebody else <laughs> oh, okay. it was about somebody else yeah okay cool. no because it was I... very confusing you can understand right anyone that coming in at that moment would be thinking oh my god this yeah this guy's a poop boy this guy's yeah. gotta be a poop boy like yeah and he and... must have done something to deserve that yeah and i told a lot of those stories there were yeah. like four or five of them uh, about poop, so I get I get why the correlation yeah. would be there. But hey, uh, I heard a story about a kid uh, that sat alone in their room for hours at a time playing Paper Mario and pretending to Let's Play. My chat has it on good authority. That was you. Uh, can you confirm or deny? <laughs> you big Paper deny. Mario guy? I can. I am not a Paper. I'm no? the opposite of Paper Mario guy, Coney. I hate okay. Paper Mario. Ah, I hate okay. it. I don't like it. I don't want to play it. I keep I asked to play it. Uh, Have you ever had a game with your stream where people will beg you to play it or do it? Or oh, fuck kind of yeah. And then when, then when you actually do it, though, no one's there. <laughs> I won't do it. That's why they're trying to get me to play fucking... That's they're trying to get me to play Danganronpa. I'm like, that, that's viewer yeah, yeah, poison. Like <laughs> what the fuck? That's a visual novel about anime that's like 60 hours long. What the fuck is your problem? There's like four people that'll enjoy it. Everyone else will just fucking tune the fuck out. It's fetish that's porn. That's literally It's Mario. Twitch that's fetish porn. I, I would rather shit I would rather be Poop Boy. I'd rather join you in the Poop Boy <laughs> club and shit myself on stream than fucking play Paper Mario. It's not, no one, wa I've tried it like three times. All right, well, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that you weren't the Paper Mario guy, yeah. but I'm gonna find out which story of these are yours, because I know you're in okay, here somewhere. Okay, yeah, I, of course I submit. I mean, Absolutely. obviously, I see, I see this. Absolutely. This, you have a good one, brother. You got it, brother, take care, see ya. Oh, this is him, by the way. This is definitely him, right? Is he cut? Does anybody know if he's cut? Is he cut? Can somebody go into his chat right now? <laughs> Check out, is this, <laughs> is this him right here? <laughs> Yeah, I'm his mod. This is him. There it is. Straight from the horse's mouth. Perfect. All right. 
We've got a couple more stories. I'm gonna go up to 35. How you guys like Cringe Confessional, by the way? This is fun. I'm having a very good time. I'm a, I, I'm really enjoying this. This is a good time. <laughs> Big fan? All right, I'm glad to hear it. I, this is good. I like this. 